I found this poem this morning. <clears throat> it's called Gratitude by Mary Oliver. And it was in a box of old stuff I have from college. Um, and my one of my English teachers gave it to me uh, a couple years ago, or I guess, you know, when I was still a student. Um, and it's funny because it's Mary Oliver, and she's now become one of my favorite poets. And, um, and I read her poetry all the time on here. Um, but yeah, it was funny that my teacher years ago gave me a poem by Mary Oliver. I don't think I remember reading it, but I found it this morning. So I'm going to read it now. Once again, it's called Gratitude, and it's by Mary Oliver. What did you notice? The dew snail, the low-flying sparrow, the bat on the wind in the dark. Big-chested geese in the V of sleekest performance, the soft toad patient in the hot sand, the sweet hungry ants, the uproar of mice in the empty house, the tin music of the cricket's body, the blouse of the goldenrod. What did you hear? The thrush greeting the morning, the little bluebirds in their hot box, the salty talk of the wren, then the deep cup of the hour of silence. What did you admire? The oaks letting down their dark and hairy fruit, the carrot rising in its elongated waist, the onion sheet after sheet curved inward to the pale green wand. At the end of summer, the brassy dust, the almost liquid beauty of the flowers, then the ferns, scrawled black by the forest. What astonished you? The swallows making their dip and turn over the water. What would you like to see again? My dog. Her energy and exuberance, her willingness, her language beyond all nimbleness of tongue, her recklessness, her loyalty, her sweetness, her sturdy legs, her curled black lip, her snap. <clears throat> what was most tender? Queen Anne's lace with its parsnip root, the everlasting in its bonnets of wool, the kinks and turns of the topello's body, the tall blank banks of sand, the clam clamped down. What was the most wonderful? The sea and its wide shoulders. The sea and its triangles. The sea lying back on its long athlete's spine. What did you think was happening? The green breast of the hummingbird the eye of the pond, the wet face of the lily, the bright puckered knee of the broken oak, the red tulip of the fox's mouth, the upswing, the downpour, the frayed sleeve of the first snow. So the gods shake us from our sleep. <clears throat>